it going? Here to show a little project I'm working on. As you can see, I got my full size hand pump dredge or yubby pump or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it works great for cleaning out cracks and snipering. I have a little gravity catch on there. However, sometimes it's just not practical to bring such a large item with you, especially if you're hiking back into the woods or searching for certain little creeks to prospect on. Therefore, this is the project I'm gonna show with you. This is the Backpacker Sniper Hand Dredge. And you can see it's a lot smaller and it can be packed even smaller if you tighten it down. You can take this off as such and you can even pack it a whole lot easier than you can bring that other one. So it was a pretty easy thing to make. This part is almost the same as the other one. No difference, that's just a, san a sanitary tee. However, I have it set up as these are one and a half inch sanitary tee attachments, and this is a two inch. And then this is just your one and a half inch PVC with a cap as a collection. And then, you know, this is your bushing for a three quarter inch. And I have all those other attachments you can put in here too, or use that one over there to catch the material. And I may end up making a valve system, which I'll share with you guys if I do, on how to like make it without the drop catch, gravity catch. So this was pretty easy to do. The hardest part was finding this bellows. And I can show you where I got it from. I actually got it from a guy who sells dredges, full-size dredges that use these. Um, originally, I this was I bought this one, which this is just a a fork bellow for like motorcycles or shocks, and it works. It's just really flimsy rubber and it would collapse on you like that when you pull and then it would lose all suction. It wasn't that good. So I was looking and it was hard for me to find a thicker rubber one that didn't have these holes in it because so you can see here, these have holes in here. In order to use it, you have to silicone those holes up. So with all my searches, I ended up finding his site and I ended up just buying it from him um because i did, it was hard to know for sure what you were going to get and a lot of things you had to request a quote for them to even sell you any of these bellows for machines or whatnot so in this bellow and this one is a lot stronger than that other one which and it has no holes in it airtight um so this on this end is just a two inch pvc i cut to stick down in there and I hose clamped it and I put a yellow rubber band under over the bellow and under the hose clamp just to protect the rubber so it don't rip it up and I did the same thing over here this is a smaller hose clamp and with this it, the handle I made a little differently and it has a cap in there, which I'll show you images of. And then it's, it's not a cap really, it's a plug. And then I have an adapter, which is going from a one inch, reducing down to a three quarter inch, which therefore is sticking out of here. And what I did was this is just a T a three quarter inch T and that's just a little PVC pipe, three quarter inch PVC pipe. I cut so you could have like a handle like this, give you a little better grip. 
And the rubber things is what came with the bellows the guy sent with. I just used them for my own purposes, but. And then with the same thing with in be connecting this T to the reducer, you just cut like a little PVC pipe, see the images attached, and then you stick one in to the reducer, reducer, and then you stick the other one into the T. And what I did was just drill holes, and I used a little nail to tap a starting place so the drill bit doesn't like move everywhere on you. Drill it in, drill a hole between the fitting and the PVC underneath it, screw it in, and then I did the same to the bottom one that's going into the reducer valve into the T. And that's about it. And it's, uh, you can see the attached images and it works pretty good. I mean, this is a nice little backpacking unit here and you can I'll probably do it more like that. And then you can like pretty much uh, sniper little sections, you know? So I think it might work out a lot better if I do end up making a valve system where I can attach a hose and just have it pump straight to a bucket and then you don't have to go anywhere. You just keep pumping. With this method, you're gonna have to pull up and then back like that to have the catch, catch the heavies. And then you're gonna have to get rid of the other material that's not heavies. But I thought I would just share this. This is a, I can bring this at times, especially if you scrink it up like that, when bringing that big hand dredge is just not practical. So I can throw this in a backpack with my other attachments. And this attachment, here's a little attachment I made. This is out of a one inch pipe. I just heated it up over the range, not far enough away so it doesn't cause a fire, and then flattened it out with some boards. That's a nice little crevice tool there. And then I did the same to the three quarter inch one. This is a, a different little method I made here for the dredges. And this is just a, a like a a plug kind of cap and I drilled holes in it got some uh, tubes and with this you can actually use these tubes for different things like you could stick this down into a crack or crevice and use or this little one and then use this other two for sucking up water and this would allow you to suck up material that's not in water or doesn't have much water in it and you can use a siphon system to be able to suck, create suction still through that. It works pretty good. Sometimes it gets clogs with gravels and stuff. So that's the one downside to this. And then this one is just one that has a little pre-classifier in it in case you wanted to do bigger material. Thought I would share. And uh, if you guys won't have any questions, just let me know. I haven't went to the creek yet to try it out, but so far it looks promising and it looks like it's a whole lot lighter than the big one. You guys take care and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.